Today we're taking a look at the business behind cash machines, the kinds not owned by the banks and how much money you can actually make by investing in them. To help break it down, we've got Jeffrey Kerr joining us from San Jose, California. He's the CEO of ACFN. It's an ATM franchising business that helps owners set up these networks. And in Boston, Sam Ditsian, CEO of Tremont Capital Group, a consulting and M&A advisory firm that specializes in the ATM industry. So Sam, let's start with you. Tell us about how this works, how you can actually invest in ATMs. Um, hey, Sarah, it's nice to be here. ATMs are a fairly complicated technical business in which you can make a lot of money if circumstances go well. Um, so let me walk you through it a little bit. Just to start off, I think it's important to point out that banks typically lose money on ATM operations. It's kind of viewed as the price and cost of doing business in order to service customers. Non-bank independent uh, ATM deployers, which make up approximately half of the nation's 409,000 ATMs, are in it solely to make money. Um, and the business model is to find and deploy high uh, transaction volume, highly conveniently located locations to put ATMs and then charge small fees such as surcharges. So in terms of the economics, you have the surcharge revenue, which is the primary line item. On the cost side, there are a lot of costs relatively fixed. You have the merchant um, or retailer commission, which is essentially rent for the location. Um, you have cash costs, which can be fairly um, expensive. Um, you have telecommunication costs in order to wire into the networks and processors. Um, you have maintenance costs, um, and you have a whole range of other costs associated with that transaction just right. to have the first transaction. Right. Um, so and then what you get left with is, is the profit, which is somewhere between you know, negative profit, um, if it's a bad location, to somewhere between 2 and 20 percent if it's a good location, right. and I would say that the average is about 7%. Well, I want to ask Jeff about that because you're on the ground helping these independents, which who knew? Half of the ATMs in this country are run independently outside of banks. Jeff, it's all about location for profits, so tell us where the hot locations are for ATMs now if you want to invest. Sure. So what we specialize in is placing ATMs in travel and entertainment-based businesses. Uh, where people value their time at a premium and are most likely to be interested in our service and the convenience that we provide. So the largest segment for us is hotels. We provide services to more than a thousand hotels throughout the U.S. and Canada. But we also do convention centers, we'll do museums, we'll do anywhere where there's tourism. And on the local scene, we'll do sports bars, we'll deal with uh, movie theaters and certainly nightclubs and high-end restaurants. But it's so expensive, Jeff, and Sam ran us through the cost. So what percentage of independent owners are actually profitable? So our business model is fairly unique. ACFN is an ATM franchise business. We're the only franchise in the industry, and we're a normal uh, ATM ISO that deploys on a national basis has all those costs because they outsource. They don't have a local presence, so they have to outsource all the services. ACFN actually insources 80% of the services required to operate an ATM, so our cost of operation is much lower, and we can actually operate in locations where your typical ATM company cannot make a profit. We can make a profit. Sam, what's it like, though, to own ETMs right now? I mean, people are using credit cards more and more. Does anyone still get cash like they used to? Yeah, it's a fair question. I get asked this all the time. And if you look back in history, over the last 40 years, people have been predicting the demise of cash you know, within five years. And ultimately, even today, cash is still um, hands down the primary payment mechanism in the United States. Um, and if you look at some of the statistics, there's estimates out of the Fed, um, some data that's both statistically and economically uh, significant, showing that um, cash is now more popular at the point of sale um, than before, largely due to the recent credit crisis. Um, you have other statistics out there showing that ATM transactions, cash withdrawals in the United States um, are up over last year. You have another statistic showing that the United States currency in circulation is actually up, not down, but up 10% over the last 12 months. Um, and then finally, I think it's just important to put it in context that whereas I'm sure most of the viewers use credit and debit more frequently than cash in order to get points and cash back and miles, mm -hmm. um, a lot of people 
um, don't even have bank accounts. Ten percent of families in the United States do not so have checking accounts. It today. all comes down to cash. Jeff, quickly, I just want to ask you, any regulatory concerns here? Uh, not at the moment. Uh, there was, of course, uh, some concerns with uh, Harkin, but that never got to vote. And Dodd Frank did not address the ATM industry. At the end of the day, we provide a service. We charge us, uh, a convenience fee for that. And I think unless you're going to regulate uh, all companies that provide services and start telling them what they can charge for that, I think uh, we provide a service. People have a choice whether they use it or not, and the convenience fee. Uh, so I, not that we can see nothing that's coming down the pipe right now. And quickly, Jeff, how much money is in a cash ATM at one time? Well, that obviously is uh, tailored to the use at that particular location. It can be anywhere from 5000 to 30000 but it really depends how active the machine is, and we just tailor it to that, so we manage our investment better. All right. Always been curious about that one. <laughs> Special thanks yeah. to Jeff Kerr, ACFN, and Sam Dissian from Tremont Capital Group. Guess cash is still king, and you can make money investing in ATMs.